Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Saturday. The day before Easter. It's beautiful out here. About 63 degrees right now. Clear skies around me, down to the south, a few clouds. Out in the Gulf, a couple little clouds, but beautiful. Very slight breeze right now coming out of the east, which is a good thing. No wind noise to contend with here this morning. So I'm coming to you live from my new iPhone 15 Pro Max. What do you think of that? It's been a long time coming came a little sooner than I wanted it. I was trying to hold out for the 16. That'll probably come out before you know it now. <laughs> but here we are. Still getting used to it. Still got a couple little bugs I have to work out with some of the apps. It's always a pain in the neck when you switch over to a new phone, but it was semi-painless. The biggest problem is none of my accessories will work with this new phone. My external microphones have to get... I'm going to try using an adapter. It's a 50-50 shot. If it's going to work, I might have to get all new microphones, which is going to really suck. It's bad enough having to buy this stuff. So right now, I'm just using the microphone on the camera. There's our sun. But fortunately, there's no wind, so it's working out pretty well. The camera mic this morning. The wind's going to pick up as the day progresses. Big old ball of fire over there. Hit the share button, let everybody know I'm out here. We get up to maybe 81 here today for a high. 82. The water is pretty darn calm. This is the waves breaking over the sandbars. Some pelicans flying by out there in the distance. I don't know if you can see them going by there or not. Night, man, the wind is roaring in from the Gulf. We did a live feed at sunset yesterday. See how things go this evening. If it's quiet, I'll try to come out for sunset. Love to be out here for Easter morning and Easter sunset. Maybe I'll try to get out here this evening. I've got my microphone adapter coming in today. If it works, I'll be happy. If it doesn't work, I'll be sad. But how is everybody doing today? What's everybody up to today? Getting ready for tomorrow? How many go to sunrise service? I don't know if they still have sunrise services here Easter morning at the beach. They used to.
take a walk up towards Del Nor Wiggins. It's going to be interesting to see how long the battery lasts on this new phone. I'm not in any hurry to run it down to zero, but should have be able to do some longer live feeds now, give everybody a chance to come and go. They were getting kind of short there with that old phone. seen a whole lot of birds out here yet walking the beach. Our friend Daryl isn't feeling well. You see him pop on, sending some well wishes. He sent me a message yesterday evening saying he might not be on with us this morning. I saw the other day he shared some homemade vegetable soup that he made. That's what he should be having right about now. Mm, nothing like good soup to make you feel better. And my wife, she makes an awesome vegetable soup. Mm, now I want some vegetable soup. I always do that to myself. Start thinking about food and talking about food. Now I want some vegetable soup. Gail. Oh, Gail's got her hands full today. Today is, well, we gotta get everything out of her mom's house. By midnight tomorrow, so today is garage sale day. This is the last of things. Her and her girlfriends are doing that. Actually, they're having, it's like a little community garage sale. Some of your friends are bringing some stuff over. Oh, my mother-in-law, Betty. She was a hoot. Her and my father-in-law, and they were, I loved them both. You know, sometimes you don't get the best in-laws. <laughs> they just come with the deal. Boy, I had some awesome in-laws as far as mother and father-in-law. Uh, their kids, you know. I don't know. I got the best one. I got the best one in the group, in the family. Wish you were here with me. Anybody freezing? How cold is it where you're at? Anybody seeing some nasty temperatures? I'm sure. Our friends on YouTube are wondering where I'm at, where I've been. They haven't seen any new videos. I didn't even bother with posting yesterday's live feeds on YouTube. The audio was so crappy. I assume you can hear me out there.
you know, that yesterday I posted some Bible verses, some scripture on Southwest Florida Television's page, on my own personal page as well, on Facebook. And it might have offended a few people, but you know what? I really don't care. <laughs> if you get offended by that, I really don't care <laughs> if you even follow me. <laughs> That's another thing. If you need, if you have any prayer requests, if you're not feeling good, if something's bothering you, if it's you know, getting financial problems like me all the time, even if one of your fur babies isn't feeling well, or if you lost a loved one, and if you need some prayers, feel free to post your prayer requests in the comments. Let our beach family know. You don't have to go into a whole bunch of detail. You know, you might need some guidance. You know, we all need some guidance. We all stray. That's human nature. But feel free to post your prayer request in the comments here. Now, we don't want to see comments. We don't care about Joe Biden and Donald Trump here. Save that for your own personal page. As tempting as it might be to say something about those two jokers. <laughs> say some prayers for our country. That's who needs some prayers for sure. Have a glimpse of that beautiful Florida sunshine over here. water feels so warm 76 the air temperature now probably around 64 ish so that really makes that water feel warm that 12 degree difference now when it's 98 degrees and that water is 80 degrees the water feels cold but it's very refreshing 80 degrees, it's like warm water. Gosh, I remember it was a last year. <laughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I've got some kind of little bug. <coughs> it's been bugging me for the past three, four days now. A little runny nose. But I think it was last year, the water got up over 100 degrees. Up over 100 down in the Keys. <laughs> destroyed a lot of our coral reefs. Still seeing that red drift algae on the beach that got washed up here. Oh, over the past three, four days, it was kind of rough and windy. All this stuff got pushed up on shore. They were picking it up yesterday with the beach rake. 
can only get so much of it, and yet some new stuff came up yesterday evening. That strong onshore wind. This doesn't hurt you, doesn't hurt anything. It smells as it dries out. Red drift algae. You can touch it, walk on it, walk through it in the water. If you're a sheller, <laughs> sift through it. You never know, you might find something really cool inside it. Tangled up in it, you might find a real treasure. It's kind of like a net. Now, if you're not getting notifications from Facebook when I go live, it's because they don't like me. They're very... Well, I'm not going to say a word. But you know how Facebook is. I know a lot of you have been suspended from Facebook for various reasons. But the notifications stink. What you also have to do is if you're one of those people that never checks your notifications, what happens is you won't be getting notifications. They'll just, you just stop getting notifications. So you have to go in every once in a while and clear out all your notifications. I know a lot of people, and they never check them. Never. They just go on Facebook and get their news. I hope you don't do that. Don't get your news from Facebook. Don't get your news from TikTok. Stay off TikTok. TikTok, bad. It's kind of quiet out there on Facebook this morning. Where is everybody at? The beach is going to be a mob scene today. I can assure you that. Holiday weekends. You won't find me hanging out at the beach too long. I'll finish up my live feeds and get the heck out of here. Let the chaos ensue. They send some stars if you're enjoying the walk here. I get a penny for each star that you send to my Facebook videos. Doesn't matter if it's a live video, whatever. Any old video. Right now, tips hugely, hugely, hugely appreciated. This new iPhone was a huge surprise. Not only the surprise of what it cost, but My, my plan went up another 20 bucks a month. We'll see. See if it's worth it. I gotta have a phone. I gotta have some cellular service. <laughs> the phone is a tool. It's not a toy. For me.
I bet you Wiggins fills up by 9 o'clock today. I bet you both parking lots are full by 9. I don't know. What do you think? Look at that sky. What do you think? Think people are going to come out here and want to hang out at the beach today? Like I said, it's going to cloud up later. Partly cloudy later. This afternoon. A beautiful morning. It's going to be gorgeous morning. It's going to be nice tomorrow, too. Easter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to Del Mar Wiggins. I'll give you a peek up the beach at Del Mar Wiggins, and I'm going to take a break. Probably take a few pictures at Del Mar Wiggins, maybe record a little video at Del Mar Wiggins, and then I'll come back for another live feed for part two of my beach walk. It'll be nice. And it won't get cut short, I don't think. I think. The new, this new phone's supposed to have a much better battery. The battery in my old phone was only working at 70%, holding 70% of its charge. So I wasn't getting diddly squat out of that thing anymore. Finally, what happened is yesterday morning, I went home from the beach and that was it. It would not charge. The phone would not take a charge, and I was like, great. So I panicked. <laughs> yes, I was not a happy camper yesterday morning. Went over to T-Mobile and said, I got a dead phone. What's the dealio? Such a pain, isn't it? Going to the phone store. Ooh, here comes the wind. The breeze is starting to pick up. Might have to contend with a little wind noise. I'll do what I can. Going to the phone store, going to the cable company. Man. It's worse than going to the dentist or going to talk to your insurance agency. <laughs> going to the dentist isn't like it was, man. Back in the old days, remember how. You just knew it meant pain every time you went to the dentist. You knew it meant pain. The dentist was not a happy place to be. The sound of that drill. Ooh, that big old shot of Novocaine. Beautiful out there in the water. Surprised I haven't seen anybody paddling by. Elmore Wiggins just ahead of us there.
All right. We're getting close to the end of this live feed, and I don't see any Facebook stars up there. Come on, peeps. Maybe everybody sent a tip instead. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Another quick reminder, you folks, that from Gulf Point of Naples, our friends that would stay at Gulf Point here on Vanderbilt Beach, I did record a little video of that a couple days ago. I believe, what was that, Thursday when I did that? Check the end of Thursday's little beach walk that I recorded. It wasn't a live feed. It was about a 20 minute video and the last about six minutes are over by Gulf Point. I'm sure it's ticking the people off that own the place, but I don't know why it's taking so long to get that place going. I mean, it got hit hard. I can tell you that. It got hit really hard. Took them a long time to get started on the rebuilding. Just give you a peek up the beach at Bell Norwegians and then I'm gonna take a break. And maybe I'll be back, maybe not. If I don't see any stars, I might not come back. I'll just hang out and enjoy myself at the beach. another it looks like it looks like a red carpet this red drift algae yeah try to look at it on the brighter side it's like they rolled out the red carpet for me here but where the sun's hitting you can see why it gets the name red drift algae you know, it's like brownish red turns brown as it starts decomposing, drying out. One person saved the day, sent a hundred stars. There you go.
here in Osprey. over in these trees somewhere. I don't know where. But I just heard it chirping away. And there's our mile-long stretch of fun. Eleanor Wiggins Pass State Park. Got watch for I'm walking. Just walked over to Sand Castle. Listen to that Osprey. It's right over in there somewhere. I assume you can hear it. Really don't know how this microphone's working on the camera during the live feed. I know it piped down. Quieted down. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. It sounded like it was right up in here. All right, I guess I'll be back in a little while. So stay tuned. I don't see you later. Have an awesome Saturday. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow morning, Easter Sunday. Depending upon the wind and the weather. The weather. For you New Englanders. to see you out here at the beach one morning. I love to see you out here. Saw one of our friends from Chicago yesterday. That was fun. I love it when people come up and say, hey, are you Rob? First, it's like, oh, yeah. Not sure what they're going to say. All right, I shall return. I'm gonna take a break, take some photos, maybe record a little beach walk here at Del Wiggins to share later. Good morning. And then I'll be back. I'll probably still be here in the park when I start my next live feed. So anywho, like I said, if I don't see you, have a wonderful Saturday. See you tomorrow morning. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your life. And God bless our wonderful country. God bless America. Say some prayers for the good old U.S. of A. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. See that Osprey said, tally-ho. Tally-ho. <laughs> tally-ho.